Hey hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I make fragrance videos. And today's video is about a fragrance I recently saw in the shop and I was basically intrigued by the name of it. So the name is obviously the one that you can see in the title of this video. It is Bulgari Man Rain Essence. So I don't know, I thought like rain, you know, does it smell of rain? What does even, what does rain smell like? Does it smell of anything? I don't know. But I was like intrigued by the name and it's always raining. So it's actually currently raining. So the perfect time to make this video. So if you're interested in this fragrance, then just keep on watching. So first of all, I have to say, I don't think it smells of rain or anything that I would necessarily associate with rain. To me personally, the name is a little bit like, well, you know, it's a fresh scent. It's a bit aquatic, but generally, well, let's get into the notes first. So we have green tea and orange in the top. We have musk and white lotus in the middle. And in the base, we have guayac wood and amber. So if you think about these notes also already, like it's not really an aquatic fresh scent so much, no? Like doesn't really seem like it. And what I'll tell you, first of all, the main notes I smell with this one out of the notes that I just said are definitely, definitely musk, first of all, and the lotus, okay? Tea, mm, tea, I don't really get any tea, honestly, but I do get some citrusiness in the opening, but orange, like when you first spray it in the initial spray it has some kind of citrusy notes but i would think it's more something like lemon or lime orange i do not get like the whole way through not really but you do get the citrusy part but it doesn't really stay that kind of evap evaporates relatively soon and it becomes very very predominantly musky is a very very clean clean fragrance like what you would associate with white t-shirt casual every day or also to work to the office kind of fragrance you know very clean it does have a little bit of sweetness but barely there this is definitely a predominantly musky scent like if you have a kind of imagination you think of like white clothing you think of like more elegant but also elegant casual kind of clothing white linen cotton something like that you know that's the associations it's very very clean but not so much in a citrusiness in a citrusy way not so much in an aquatic way i would say it has a little bit of a wetness to it like it's a bit moist you know like i know a lot of people don't like that word for some reason but uh, sorry you're one of those but uh, yeah, it's just a little bit damp, but it's very, it's very clean and it's also very creamy to me. So it has almost like a kind of a body lotion vibe to it. It's as if you have your mask, but you mix it with some like cream and then you have like just a light sprinkle of, let's say rain, water, whatever, something wet on you, okay? So this is what it smells like. So by saying that, I think you get that it's quite a simple scent. It's really nothing that I think is any in any way like extremely special, to be honest, like or very, you know, it's, it's not going to wow anyone, I think. But nevertheless, it's very, very pleasant. Like this would be extremely, extremely hard to dislike. It's such an easy to wear, fresh, clean, musky fragrance. Unless you don't like musk, then okay, then I would say maybe not. But this is so, 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 so pleasant. So easy to wear. Like this, I think I could really imagine this well, uh, giving this as a gift to somebody who you know likes more cleaner kind of scents and somebody who wants to wear this fragrance every single day because this is the fragrance you can wear every single day there's no occasion where you could not wear it well maybe it's not so much of a date night scent but you know this is really like a, such an easy to wear easy to grab fragrance that you don't have to think about you just smell fresh and clean especially now i would say for spring summer that's coming up now i think this is very very appropriate but you could even wear this in the colder months but especially i think in spring summer this would be very very nice to wear and 
One thing I will have to say though is that the longevity and projection are a little bit disappointing, I find. I generally have the feeling that anything that's more on the musky side becomes a kind of a skin scent relatively soon. I don't know, maybe that's just like me, that's a theory I have. I don't know. And it's no different with this one. It's It doesn't last very long. I'd say 45 hours and then it really becomes a skin scent. So, you know, that is not exactly amazing, but for this kind of fragrance, I think the performance is okay. If I wanna compare it to something I've already smelled, the first thing it makes me think of, it made me think of was uh, Narciso Bleu Noir, because that one, uh, that one also, very very musky generally narciso it kind of gives me narciso vibe a little bit because of the muskiness uh, clean but the bleu noir is just a bit sweeter and it's more powdery as well but the vibe i feel like is a little bit similar also there is a fragrance that i recently purchased for myself which was uh, a drop d'essai or d'essai i'm not really sure how to say from Issey miyake um, and that one is a feminine fragrance and it's also quite musky so I feel like this smells almost like the counterpart like the masculine counterpart if you remove the lilac note in this one uh, in the the drop dessay because it has a lilac note but it has that clean musky a bit wet feeling to it and also it's very very pleasant kind of a bit calming like to me those kind of scents are always gives me like a calming vibe if I, if I don't know what to wear and I feel like stressed or something or it's just, you know, like something I don't want to think about, that's the type of fragrance I go for. Clean, easy, not too sweet, not too heavy. Like this is the type of scent that I really enjoy. Also something like, for example, uh, Inicio's Musk Therapy, which is in the same category of scent. It's not similar, but same category. But I would say if you like those fragrances, you may like this one as well, or at least I think it's worth checking it out. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I can say about this fragrance. Would I recommend it? Yes, but do I think it's absolutely, absolutely necessary you have to run out and get it right now? No, but if you like clean musky fragrances, I think it's definitely worth a try. And yeah, so if you like this video, please do give it a like, it really helps me out a lot, and please comment. If you have any questions or you want to say something to the video or some recommendations, whatever you can think of. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so by clicking the subscribe button and maybe that little bell as well. So you get notified. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.